Hello, Flame community. This is Jeff Kyle with the Flame Learning Channel. With the release of Flame 2025, the user profile system has been completely reimagined, changing and improving how we manage our user settings to allow for seamless transitions from this version to all subsequent versions going forward. In this video, we'll be covering just what this new system means for you, where the settings are saved, how keyboard shortcuts and some user settings have changed, and how to import and export your user profile. To start, if you've been using Flame a while, when you take a look at the startup screen, you'll notice quite an obvious layout change. On the screen here is everything we're used to seeing just without the user profile section. Now, the Flame user profile is tied to the operating system's user profile. On Linux, these user settings are located in Home, then the name of your user, and Flame. And on Mac, they're in Users, the name of your user, Library, Preferences, Autodesk, Flame. If you look closely at each of these paths, you might notice that there's no version associated with these settings. This, of course, is the version agnostic part of what I mentioned before. Flame 2025 is looking at that location to dictate all of our user settings, and so will all future versions of Flame. In previous versions of Flame, the profile that's associated with a Flame user profile, that's Smoke Classic, Smoke, or Flame, affected the keyboard shortcuts, but it also affected a handful of default behaviors. For example, the desktop reels view was the default view in the Flame profile, but the freeform view was the default view in the Smoke Classic profile. The timeline tab was opened by default for the Smoke and Smoke Classic user profile, and the tools tab was opened by default for the Flame user profile. Now, in Flame 2025, the profile associated with your user is set in the keyboard shortcuts menu, and that profile only dictates the keyboard shortcuts. This means that you might notice some slightly different default behaviors in certain areas depending on the user profile you're used to. As to the keyboard shortcut differences between profiles, since each profile has some very different shortcuts, when a keyboard shortcut is set, it's only set for the currently selected profile to avoid some rather complicated conflicts. When it comes to Mac versus Linux keyboard shortcuts, this concept is not the case. Shortcuts set on one operating system, by default, will be set for both operating systems, and Flame will appropriately account for the command versus control versus meta key, depending on the keyboard used and the current operating system. But since there are some discrepancies between the control, meta, and command keys between the two operating systems, using this dropdown here allows us to set the shortcut on the current operating system only, which may help to avoid some conflicts. Before moving on, there's one more area we'll take a look at inside of the preferences. There's a new tab called User Tokens, which is where we now set our name and nickname. By default, the name is inherited from the operating system's username, but can be changed from here at any time. The last location we'll be looking at is inside of the Flame Setup. There's a new tab in here called User, which gives us some new options for handling our user profile. In the middle here, under User Tokens, we can adjust the username and nickname, similar to how we could inside of Flame under Preferences. At the top here, we have an export button, which packages up all the settings in the user location into a zip file, which can then be imported on another system. The import button imports an exported zipped up user profile with some options to either import all of the user settings or to import just the preferences, presets, or shortcuts. And of course, reset allows us to reset either all of the user preferences or some of the user preferences based on the same dropdown selection. Just as a small note, you cannot import or reset your user profile while Flame is running, so if you're doing so, just make sure Flame is closed. And it's also worth mentioning that if you're using tangent panels, any custom tangent settings are not included in this import or export process. They will have to be saved and loaded separately. Now that a feature like this exists, I highly recommend, after building your user profile just how you like it, to export that user profile and keep it handy. As a solo Flame artist or a staff Flame artist, this would mostly be for backup purposes, just in case. It won't necessarily be needed for switching from one workstation to another workstation on a network, so long as the different workstations you might be switching to use the same network login, and those preferences are shared across machines. But this export feature will be especially useful for freelancers who move from facility to facility, who will now be able to load all of their user preferences and settings with the click of a button, wherever they happen to be working. If you like these videos and you're finding them helpful, please subscribe to the Flame Learning Channel and click the bell to stay notified about new content. Feel free to comment any questions or suggestions below. Until next time, thanks a bunch for watching.
Thank you.